In 1961, US President John F. Kennedy committed to landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth before the end of the decade. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. After eight years of research, testing and building, NASA was ready to send the first man to the moon. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were chosen for the mission. On the 16th of July, 1969, Apollo 11 launched. The whole craft was composed of several different parts. Armstrong, Aldrin and Collins were right at the top in the command module. The rocket that propelled the Apollo 11 spacecraft was known as Saturn V. It had three sections that would burn and separate at different points in flight in order to get the lunar and command modules to the moon. After the rocket launched, it went into orbit around the Earth. Then accelerated to speeds of over 24,000 miles an hour in order to break orbit and make a trajectory towards the moon. Right, uh, I've got the uh, world in my window for change and uh, looking at it through the binoculars, it's really something, I wish I could describe it properly, but... After 76 hours, Apollo 11 entered into a lunar orbit and it was time for the next stage of the mission landing a man on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would pilot the lunar module, also called the Eagle, down to the surface of the moon, while Michael Collins would remain in the command module in lunar orbit. But the journey down wasn't all smooth sailing. Due to errors in the navigation system, they had to find a new, safe place to land the lunar module. Thanks to Armstrong's quick thinking and piloting skills, the lunar module landed with just 20 seconds of fuel remaining. Yeah. The, angle has landed. the first steps on the moon were broadcast on the 20th of July, 1969. Around 650 million people watched from around the world. Meanwhile, Michael Collins and Mission Control were working to find out just where the lunar module had landed. Flight Dynamics Officer Dave Reed in Mission Control was monitoring the situation. He took off his headset so as not to be overheard, walked back to Flight Director Gene Krantz and said, We have a problem. We don't know where the hell they are. While Armstrong and Aldrin were collecting samples on the moon's surface, Collins and Mission Control finally managed to locate the craft around four miles off target. The lunar module set off from the moon and Armstrong and Aldrin rejoined Collins in the command module on the 21st of July. They broke out of the moon's orbit on a course back to Earth. After two and a half days of travel, Apollo reached Earth and began its descent. The heat shield on the bottom of the command module protected the astronauts as they blazed down at around 25,000 miles an hour. Parachutes deployed and they landed in the Pacific Ocean. And that's how, after years of work and the effort of thousands of people, NASA got the first man to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> 